We back talking that boxing ish. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow by the Internet Boxing Clinic Talk. Now, uh, apparently, Orlando Salido suffered an injury, from what I'm hearing. So it's not going to be Tank and Salido on August 26th on the co feature for Mayweather and McGregor. Um, you know, some people have speculated, like I speculated, that it was over the dollar amount. So I'm going to take offer Salido 720K for a rematch. He turned it down. Obviously, we thought we jumped to the conclusion that Tank Davis offered him more than that. And I guess it wasn't enough, but Salido apparently got injured. And that's why it's not happening. And then the Tevin Farmer fight we already reported, it's not going to happen as well because Lou DiBella said it can carry its own main event. And they're looking, for it. they looking forward to making it in the future somewhere on the East Coast as well. So, you know, where does that lead Javante Tank Davis? Um, the next best opponent in the division that's, that's ranked is Javier Fortuna. Um, you know, Dominican, we've seen him fight before. Very wild, athletic, takes chances, crazy in the ring, crazy mongoose style. Um, you know, he's available. He got knocked out by Jason Sosa a couple fights ago, with a fight that he was ahead on all cards, and um, got stopped in the 11th round. But, you know, I think he's ready to bounce back. Um, I think he's available. I've seen him at a few fights. Um, had a war with Omar Douglas, got the decision, and I believe this is a good fight for the fans, you know, as far as, you know, action-packed value, you have a lot of casual fans that's peeking into the Mayweather-McGregor card, and, you know, Fortuna's going to bring it, he's a fast, good-punching, you know, offensive-minded guy, he doesn't know no defense, he doesn't know no defensive responsibility, and for, and for Tank, that's that's good, you know, good to fight somebody that's just as athletic as you, that can punch, and, um, you know, it's a good experience, you know, fighting a different style, you know, in a young age. Um, you know, getting that awkwardness, that awkward style, because you're going to see a lot of guys like that, you know, as you move on. You know, that's not orthodox. You know, Fortuna's definitely not an orthodox fighter. But what makes it more intriguing is that he's a, he thinks all offense and he's he's quick, you know, he's fast, everything, you know. But he doesn't think defense and tank could, you know, make a classic war with him on an undercard where a lot of, for a record, where a lot of fans and a record breaking number of, of fans are, you know, are peeping in. He can make a real name for himself and, and jump in notoriety. Um, to think, you know, what would be a backup plan in this one? I guess Edner Cherry, um, who just beat Omar Douglas. I don't know if he fought since then, but I would assume that he's available. Um, that would be a solid fight for Tank, an experienced guy that's been through the ringer, who fought, you know, for, for world titles, who lost to Pedraza, who a lot of people thought beat Jose Pedraza, who Tank won his super featherweight IBF belt from. So that wouldn't be a bad matchup, but Javier Fortuna, I, I think, would be the best plug-in uh, fighter right now for Tank Davis in that fight. Um, like I said, it'll be a cracking fight. It'll be explosive. It'll be all offense and definitely will end in a knockout. Um, it'll be competitive for, for some rounds as well. And I think it, it I think I think it's, it's a good fight. You know, Salido fight, you know, it's a drop-off from the Salido and the Tevin fight to this fight, but... You know, I think it's cool. You know, it's better than him fighting, you know, some no-name, ranked, unranked guy or, you know, some guy that we, we haven't seen before because all the other champions just have fought or has a fight on the horizon with Lomachenko and um, Miguel Moraga. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram, The Boxing Clinic on Facebook, The Boxing Clinic 313 on Instagram. We gone.